Ladies and gentlemen, hello and you are watching TTV New Brompton and Radio and Television Station. And now we come into details. Ladies and gentlemen, after one week of Lunar New Year holiday 2020, in the morning of January 30, NC and Union Zinden Province officially entered the first working day. Hundreds of people implemented administrative procedures at the province of public administration center, right from 7.30 a.m. At the public administration center of the province, people mainly implemented procedures for changing driver's license, renewing identity cards, and citizen identification. Although it's the first working day of the Lunar New Year, officials and employees at the province public administration center were fully and on time to conduct administrative procedures for the people. In order to save time when conducting administrative procedures, after applying the records at the counters of the provincial public administration center, some people choose to receive the results by the public postal service. Being established and official put into operation in March 2018, the name Province Public Administration Center has formed its roles as the focal point for receiving applications and turning results for the administrative procedures under jurisdiction and settlement responsibilities of departments and branches in the province. The center's operation is increasingly stable, with the system of facilities being invested and arranged in a modern and friendly way so that people feel comfortable when coming to carry out administrative procedures. In order to complete the urban infrastructure, in 2019, Tainan City continued to increase public investment with a capital of nearly 290 billion Vietnam dong, up 30.26% over the same period. In particular, the province has allocated 35 billion Vietnam dong for the city to implement the city's stadium project and the city's wastewater collection and treatment system. The city authorities have submitted to the Prime Minister a proposal to supplement the project of wastewater collection and treatment system to the medium-term public investment plan for the 2016-2020 period. Last year, the province also provided target capital of more than 156 billion Vietnam dong for the city to implement projects including urban embellishment, building new rural areas, building primary school meeting national standards, and projects on building and repairing offices of agencies. The city has invested nearly 100 billion Vietnam dong from the state budget for public projects, including the construction of traditional house and a memorial stele for the city's resistant and historical monument with a capital of more than 6.3 billion Vietnam dong. Remarkably, the city has focused on upgrading nearly 100 crores from urban to rural areas, creating a convenient transportation system, making it easier for people to travel. Many public projects have been completed and put into use, making the city's appearance more and more spacious, practically serving the local socio-economic development, striving to bring the city into a great new urban center in the coming time. In 2019, the livestock sector in the Nen province continued to shift strongly from small-scale animal husbandry to large-scale farm and family farm, but answering biosecurity. Currently, the province has 1,467 farms and family farms, increasing nearly 2.4% over the same period. The proportion of animal husbandry accounts for 15.4% of the agriculture. There are 58 chicken and big farms granted with GAP certificates. Last year, the African squire fever had a strong influence and caused great damage to the pig farming sector. The agricultural and rural development sector in the province has instructed farmers to prevent and control recurrence and repair well for rebreeding. Right after that holiday, some farm owners, small and medium beast farming households said that they had decided to stop operating and switch to raising all the times of cattle more safely. The total production value of economic sectors of Tân Châu District in 2019 was estimated at over 14,600 billion Vietnam dong, up 5.3% over the same period. 
although some economic indicators do not meet the plan. But 2019 is the year that Tân Châu has the highest growth rate of the whole period 2015-2020. The most remarkable point in the district economic picture in 2019 is that more and more large-scale projects are invested in the district, including a solar power project with a total investment of about over 13,200 billion Việt Nam Đồng in the period of 2015-2020. Project applied to a FICO tenant cement plan with a total investment of 4,800 billion Việt Nam Đồng. Infrastructure investment project of Tân Phú Industrial Cluster, the building of New Yan Weaving Factory of Blue Tie Vietnam Co. Limited. This is considered as a foundation to continue promoting the economic growth of the district in 2020 and the coming years. In 2020, Tân Châu District strives to reach nearly 7% of the total production value of major economic sectors to successfully carry out the task of the socio-economic development plan in 2020. Tân Châu District People's Committee has put forward 10 main task groups and solutions to direct the management in order to continue creating positive changes in implementation of economic development targets. In particular, the district will focus on mobilizing resources to invest in transport infrastructure development associated with the construction of new rural areas to best meet the needs of people and businesses, gradually implementing administrative reforms, strengthening national defense and security, maintaining political stability, ensuring social order and safety towards the goal of sustainable development. Ladies and gentlemen, from a poorly agricultural province with low economic growth, then inheritism from economic restructuring, promoting industrial production development. Every year, the GRDB growth rate is stable and always higher than previous year. The state budget revenue also increased. The fraud data in the province driving to achieve the state budget revenue of 10,000 billion Vietnam dollars in 2020 shows the strong effort of the province. 10,000 billion Việt Nam Đồng is the target for the state budget revenue in the Ninh province in 2020. The total revenue is expected to increase by 25% compared to the 2019 estimate, increasing 6.8% with the estimated implementation in 2019, an increase of over 13% compared to the Ministry of Finance aside. Important export tax revenues estimated at 750 billion Việt Nam Đồng up over 15% over the forecast. The figure of 10,000 billion Việt Nam Đồng of the state budget revenue is a memorable milestone of the province after more than 20 years of striving. From 500 billion Việt Nam Đồng when the province joined the budget collection club in 2001, this figure has been increased after each period. And by 2019, the state budget revenue in the province reached over 9,600 billion Việt Nam Đồng, exceeding 20% of the estimate of over 25% over the same period. 2020 is the last year of the state budget stability period 2017-2020, which is very important in the implementation of social economic development targets and the task of the whole 2016-2020 period. The province has developed a budget estimate higher than the level assigned by the central government, over 1,100 billion Việt Nam Đồng, equivalent to more than 13%. This figure is the record and unprecedented increase that the province tried to achieve in recent years. In order to achieve the set goals at the Conference on Implementing the Social Economic Mission 2020 of the People Committee of the Ninh Province, Mr. Yung Văn Thắng, Vice Chairman of the Provincial People's Committee, said that it's necessary to take measures to enhance enterprise financial management, monitor the implementation of state budget revenue and payment promptly and fully. According to the Economist forecast, the business and production situation of enterprises has been maintained stably with a development direction. Along with that, the province has been taking measures to remove difficulties and create favorable conditions for enterprises. The province's economy in 2020 is expected to achieve higher growth and budget revenue. 
First of all, the province plans to implement the state budget revenue right from the beginning of the year, improving the quality of analysis, forecasting, reviewing and timely assessing factors affecting the state budget revenue, especially potential revenue sources. We must successfully implement budget revenue and expenditure. I also suggest that the basic construction work should be implemented well. It needs to overcome the assignment of extended plan, slow disbursement, usually at the end of the year, just like the last year. At the same time, we also seriously implementing Decree number 79, dated October 26, 2019, of the government on amending the article of Decree 45, dated May 15, 2014, on collection of land use fees. With the motto of being proactive and flexible in managing and operating budget, while exploiting revenue sources, simplifying import and export procedures, this will be an important basis for attaining profits to complete the state budget revenue tasks and have more resources to implement multi projects and social economic tasks in 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's TTV News. Thank you for being with us. And goodbye for now.